welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And I'm going to be brave today and take on a skyscraper Sudoku. I'm terrible at these sometimes. So we'll see how this pans out today. Um, this has come in from Doug Jellen, who's sent in the number before. And it has a special feature in that we are not given any numbers. We are given colors and we have to work out what numbers they represent. So we'll get to that in a moment. I do want to mention, as I always do, all our apps, which are available on the links under the video, very reasonable price for 100 uh, handcrafted Sudokus in each one of different sorts. Uh, we have, of course, Patreon, where there's extra content, including various Sudoku hunts lately for you to have a go at. And of course, also, uh, the Discord server, and our new Sudoku pad, which allows you to play classic Sudokus in our software um, just by inputting them yourself. And it's been requested for a while. Anyway, so Skyscraper Sudoku, how does that work? Um, I'm going to show you an animation now. So this is Chain Bear's brilliant uh, animation of how Skyscraper works. You imagine the grids, a row of the grid, and you picture its numbers as tower blocks of different heights. And then the clue from the left side will be the number of tower blocks you can see. And as you can see here, those go purple. You can see two, then you can see four behind it because it's taller, then five, then seven, then nine. That's five different blocks. So the clue on the left is a five. From the right, this same row has a totally different number. Oh, you only see the eight at the end and then the nine behind it and the answer, or rather the clue in that row, therefore, will be two. So that's how the clues outside the grid work. Now, of course, here we still have to find what number each color represents. And I am aware that for the colorblind, this may be challenging. Um, also, actually, the way I'm going to play this, I can't write the numbers in the outside, in the perimeter. Um, so luckily, almost all of them are provided inside the grid. So once I know what each number is, I will have a key inside the grid to work on. I'll probably try and provide another version of this puzzle with letters instead of colors and um, cells outside the grid that you can write in, but it messes with the checking and the maneuvering around the grid a bit. So I prefer to work like this. And I think this is how Doug sent it to us anyway. So. Do give it a go on one of those two versions on the link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. With a skyscraper, the perimeter is often the most important area. The, by, I'm now meaning perimeter to mean the inside line of the grid, the, the outside of the nine by nine. Um, yeah. There's going to be one nine in each of these rows and columns. And that nine, wherever it occurs, is going to put a one in the clue section outside the grid. And only one of those can occur, because if you don't have a nine, you won't have a one outside it as its clue. Therefore, we're looking for a color that appears once in each of the perimeter full list of colors. And, oh, there are two. Not green, which appears multiple times on the right, and blue does too. Yellow does on the left. Purple, there's only one of them at all, so it's probably a high number. But red and orange, one of those is a one. And which one is it? Okay, it's not orange. Because if you put a one in this cell here, how could its clue be one? That wouldn't work at all. So one is red. And we'll fill that one in to help remember that. And everywhere red is in the perimeter, we've got a nine um, as the first digit it sees. So a one clue always sees a nine tower block. Now, all of orange, blue, yellow, and green, very deliberately, I'm sure, look in on their own color. And that means none of them can be six, I think. Yeah. Because if you had a six here, say, with a six clue, that wouldn't work because this is only going to see the six block, then the, at some point, maximally, the seven, the eight, the nine. The clue could never be more than four. So any color that's looking in at itself has to be two, three, four, or five. So 
Orange, green, yellow and blue are some mix of those. Oh, of course, sorry, I should look at this row from the left hand side. This green cell, obviously it's going to see that and then the nine is the last one. So green is two. That's very clear if you spot it. <laughs> and I should have done. Um, so those are from three, four and five. Yeah, so green is two up here as well. Ah. Green is also two from the right side of this bottom column and from the bottom of this, sorry, from the right side of the bottom row and from the bottom of this right hand column. Now this has to be seven or eight here. Oh, looking up here as well, it's the same. That has to be seven or eight. Now the reason I know about these being seven or eight is, well, let's consider this column first. This skyscraper will be seen by the clue, but then apparently nothing else will be seen. So they all have to be smaller than this one up to there. So the only number that could be bigger than here will sit there. Um, and that must be right. Now here, same deal, all of those will be smaller. So we've got an eight, seven pair. We've also got green there. So this is bigger than those four, which could be one, two, three, four. So that's five, six, seven, or eight. Um, one of these two must be eight. Yeah, I mean, we've got green on almost every one of these perimeters, just one of them there. That's not, is that saying that these are eights? Let me just figure this one out. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I think it is. If that was seven, this would have to be eight for the, for the column looking up. And that can't be eight because blue is not two. There we go. Okay, that's fine. So this is eight. That's seven. Is This isn't seven now. I have a feeling it's eight, but I, that's just a feeling. We can't go with that. Now, what else is that telling us, if anything? Right, let's look at nines. Um, we've got a nine in one of those three cells. It's quite interesting because that nine is either going to be seen from the left by one of these three. So blue or yellow, whichever it is, can't be, has to be three because neither of them can be smaller than three. Um, oh. What about this box? Where does nine go? Remember, blue is at least three. Yeah, so if you put nine, well, nine's ruled out of those by Sudoku to start with. If you put nine there, these two blues looking at it would have to be green. They'd both have to be two. If you put it there, this would have to be two. So nine is definitely in one of these two cells. And whichever one it's in, this blue down here that's looking at it is going to need to be three. So blue is three. Um, right, blue is three. How can we... Well, okay, well that means that yellow and orange are four and five. So these cells can't contain nine. Ah, these ones can't contain nine because of this yellow. And that is very interesting. Now, nine in this box has to be in one of those two cells. But we've got nine in one of those two, so it's not here. So we can actually place this nine in box eight. Then we're going to have a nine in one of these. Um, what about... Nine could be up here. This is at least three, so nine can't, ah, nine can't be there or there because of this yellow being four. This blue's at least three, so nine, based on this box, based on these right hands, nine's in one of those. But look, 
purple is more than four or, or five because they're yellow and orange. Purple's at least six, so nine can't possibly be there. So we know where nine is in column eight now. And actually that's, oh, look at this green as well with a two to start. This is vital. Where can nine, well, what happens here? If it can't be a nine now, it's got to be less than that too. It's got to be one. And now nine has to appear immediately. And that is resolving all but two of our nines. And look, this yellow does the last one. That can't be, we now know yellow is at least four. So that can't be a nine. Those two must be, that's not a nine. And we're done with nines. And they ought to be a bit more helpful. Now, yellow, looking down there, that can't be a five because it's only four cells to the nine. So yellow is four, orange is five. We know all of those colors, Purple, actually, we now know is six because it's not going to see that one. So it has to ascend on the way down all the way. It has to see every one of these buildings to make up the six. Purple is, in fact, six. So gray now has to be seven or eight. That's all that's left. Probably won't find out what it is for a while. Um, okay. Blue there is going to be three, that's fine. That blue is going to be three. That green is two. Ah, this four. That has to be more than three. It's not that thrilling a discovery. But it does help to work on the places. Right, this is more than this number because of that green at the top. So it's not very helpful, but it does mean it's not an eight there. These ascend just as those do, which is quite interesting. Oh, but there's a lot of pencil marking to do. I'm going to do it anyway, just see if anything obvious occurs from that. Only two places to put one in the box, only two to put eight. In fact, seven has to be in one of those now. And in one of those. Now this is the sort of point when I'm very bad at asking the right questions. This cell has to be bigger than all of those to make this a two looking in. So um, five, six, or I suppose it could be four actually. This one is a three looking that way. That's much less helpful. Blue here. Ah, oh, blue is a three, so that can't be an eight. Right, so that's a seven. Eight appears there somewhere. Well, I suppose, obviously. Um, oh, gray is seven, yeah, and purple is six. So we know all the colors. There is no eight or nine in the color scheme. That can't be five, actually. I should have spotted that. And we've got a two along here. If that was a six, this would be eight. One, nine, three, eight, seven, five. Actually, that's weirdly even there. Ah, and then what does it mean? This can't come between that number and seven. But it could be, oh no, this can't be eight because it's got blue at the top. Right, where does eight go in the top row? That is a much simpler question that I should have asked ages ago. It can't go there by Sudoku. It can't go there because they're blue at the top, not green. So it goes there. Maybe we should actually, well, oh, that's done. Of course, that's done all the eights in the perimeters. So that question can't be replicated anywhere. But this is an eight and that's not seven. And now there is only one place, thanks to the pencil marking, it did pay off. There's only one place for seven in box three. It's there. Um, Four, seven, that's three, five, or six. There, one, three, five, or six. That's not so helpful. This must ascend up to the nine. So it starts with two, three, five, or six. Then three, four, five, six, or eight. Eight would work quite well with both blue clues. 
Ah, oh, this can't be eight. No, not that interesting. Right, orange. Let's have a look at... Oh, that can't be a six because of orange. Orange can never start with more than a five. In fact, if it does start with a five like this one, it's going to have to see six before it sees seven and seven before it sees eight. Ah, seven is confined to this box because it can't be there by Sudoku and it's got to come between the six and the eight. Is that any use? Not really. It puts seven in one of those two cells. Those are ruled out from being seven. Don't know what to do with that. This cell is going to be bigger than those two. Um, another orange here, so that can't be more than five. Hmm. Where's this going to meet? Oh, it doesn't have to be five. I was wondering where it's going to meet a seven, since it now can't be in any of those cells. But it doesn't have to have the seven in the count, so it could easily be there. Okay, not the right question. And this is the bit I find difficult about these puzzles, is working out what the right question is at any point. And I, in so many cases, I just don't know. Um, right, that can't be eight, because this yellow wouldn't allow it. So that's not. So now this has to be the seven that had to be in one of those two cells. Um, this is blue. Ah, eight is in one of these two cells for the box. And that is going to be the second cell that gets seen in this column after this one. So this it could be a three can't be less than a three. So it's three, five, or six, just like that. Oh, what am I learning? Eight now in column eight has to be there. Two, three, four, five, six. They're not any further resolved. Four obviously has to be up there somewhere for the box, so it's not in those cells. They climb here, we just see that, and then eight, and then nine. That is five, six, or eight, just by Sudoku. Three, five, six, eight. What about this blue now? <clears throat> I don't know if that's... I don't know, there's options all over. This can't be seven anymore, we've learned that. Therefore, this can't be six, looking down column five. Six is in one of those. Three. I must try and not get my pencil marks mixed up and think that I've confined it to those two cells. Actually, that would be an easy mistake here to make, thinking that I had an X-wing on eights, but that doesn't apply because that is part of this pencil marking. Um, that can't be seven anymore. Ooh, five, six, and eight. Oh, I don't know what to do. One, two, three, or six there. Sorry, I am struggling a bit. We need two bigger numbers. Four has to go up to this. Oh, that can't be eight, I've just noticed, because four, seven needs to see eight before nine to make this a, a four clue. So that's come down to five or six. I doubt that I'll be able to do anything else with that for ages. Um, but interesting nonetheless. Six, seven, eight. What about this one? That also needs to start no more than five. Three, I don't know. Well, it's going to see eight somewhere here, isn't it? but it can't see it as soon as here. Eight has to, I think, be in one of those three cells. Oh, well, of course it does, because <laughs> it's in those two. 
So now I'm mixing my pencil marks horribly. This eight is doing double duty in that group and that group. Um, this is a five though. So if eight was there, they'd have to climb all the way up to that. And yet this would be hiding two smaller numbers. So if eight was there, there's a lot of pressure here. I don't know. Oh, hang on. This is a two clue. Doesn't this have to be a seven? No, it doesn't. Oh, it nearly does. Seven could be there if this was... Well, that could even be a five. You can have... Uh, it just doesn't prove what this is. It's close. That is four, five, six or seven just by Sudoku. Now, this has to rise four, so it couldn't be higher than six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, that it can't be six, because if you saw six, seven, eight, nine in that group, you couldn't fill these. So it's not six. Oh, and that nearly dealt with a triple. If I knew this wasn't six, I'd have a triple, which might not help that much in column one, but would at least be it would look like Sudoku progress. Um, now, these have to rise. Is that interesting? Eight can't be there. But that doesn't mean they could rise five, six. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me anything. OK, this blue has been done. That green has been done. That green has been done. That yellow. Well, it's effectively been done. We know eight must appear there. This blue is three. So what can this be? If that was a three, this would have to be higher than this. Oh, that's quite interesting. If that was a three, you'd go six, five, eight there, which is possible. If this was five, then you've got a five. If it's five or six, you've got a five, six pair there and eight. Oh, that can't be three. So you'd then have three here. But I'm just noticing three is therefore in one of these two positions and one of these accordingly. Probably doesn't do anything again. Oh, come on, Mark. What is going on? Six, five, we know four's in that group. It doesn't help anything. Wow, I mean, sometimes it's logic. Sometimes these puzzles are just perseverance. And I think that may be today's lesson is just keep looking at things and figuring out what might give something. So, okay, eight can't be here because of this orange being five at the bottom. So eight in this row is now in one of these two places. Oh, it'd be really helpful to know either that it was here or not here, I think. Um, but even seven could be there. Two, four, five, yeah, I just don't know. This can't be eight. Oh, but this is three for this whole column. So whatever is here, which isn't eight, is bigger than everything it then sees until it gets to eight. So it can't be a one, obviously, or a two here. Three, four, or six. And if it was a three, Eight would either be here or here with a two there. I don't think this can be six, actually, because this clue would end up being a four, wouldn't it? Something six, seven, nine. That's definite. In fact, does this now have to be higher than this, given these low numbers? Yes, it does. So that can't be a two. And in fact, if that's a four, that's a three. But if that's a six, that's got possibilities. Um, this three or four, it's going to see eight very quickly, but I suppose it could just allow eight to come down 
to here, which is different. That would work for the blue. It could be four, three, two, with eight there. Four, three, two, six, seven, nine, one. You'd have eight and five here. Ah, that would be all right. Okay. Oh, what about this row that I haven't really looked at much that is a four clue? We've got a one. It's going to meet eight somewhere. Not there, actually. Oh, so that can't be eight. And that can't be eight. So the eight in this column is definitely in one of these two positions. I'm a bit hesitant to pencil mark that because they're so disconnected as pencil marks. Um, eight, why couldn't it be there? It probably is there. Why couldn't it be here? Because this would have to go four, three, two. Have six there, you'd have five and eight here. Although now the eight definitely could be here. Can eight be there? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, that is frustrating. It's not quite telling me how that works. And those being in different boxes don't quite pin eight down here either. So that's irritating. Right, come on, come on. Let's just keep going and work this out. One and two have to be in these, in this row. They have to appear in that group of cells. Um, therefore, they're in, one is in one of those two, and two is also in that group. Does that say anything about how we do a four in this row? Not really. I guess if two was in one of those two cells as well, then we would know that that's four or five, and that's five, six or seven, that's six, seven or eight. That's not really the information we need. Four has to be in one of those two, I've just seen. Ah, and we've got this blue three here. So that can't be three anymore or it would see at least a four there, at least an eight there. So that's not three. These are smaller. That's the first thing it sees. That's the next thing. So these don't include six. Which is not that interesting, unfortunately, I don't think. Oh, come on, what deduction can I not see here? This is green, this is a two, so they're both smaller than that is. So if they were two and one, that would force two and one to be there. Oh yeah, it's getting interesting. If that was three, maybe this is impossible. You'd get two and one here. Nine, eight, you'd get a four here. That would put a six here, like almost everything else does. Three, two, one, nine, seven. I can't see what's wrong with that. But I'd love to stop that being a three, because then I'd have a five, six pair. Wow, this is vicious. What am I missing here? Oh look, that's come down to five or six, so this can't be six, that can't be five, that can't be four, for the purple clue. So six is definitely now in one of these two cells in this box, and that is definitely a five, which is not anything I was expecting to find, but removes five from a whole bunch of cells here, including, ah, including all of those. So now five's definitely in one of these two. That's not a five, accordingly. Uh, six is in one of those. Four is in one of these. Can that be six? No, because this has to be a four clue. That's not a six. 
So the only six in the box is here. Oh, that's now eight, is it? I think this is right. Three there, that's not a three. So let's remove the pencil mark. This is a five, six pair, and we must know which way round for a clue. It's got to go five, six, three, nine. Um, oops, and box six is complete, to my amazement. Now we've got two, three pair, four and five go in. That's not a five, that's not a three. We've got a one, two, three, difficult triple. Six, oh, they don't have a three in, but they do have a four, and that doesn't really help. Uh, that, uh, no. We've effectively used all the clues. Now, in this row, small four, six. Then we've got to see seven before eight. So eight can't go, no, hang on, it's the other way around. One, two, three. We can't see seven, then eight. So eight's not here. That means in column two, eight is here. Now eight, oh, it's in one of those two. It doesn't have to be there though. Bother, okay. But it has to be before the seven. So it has to come in one of these two. Now that's a genuine X-wing with eight here, surely. Because that's where eight has to be in row seven. So that is a genuine X-wing and we can rule eight out of these two and eight now in column Five is here, so it's up here, and that fixes seven. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take the pencil mark out of there as well. Right. So eight goes here by Sudoku. There's four eights looking at that box, and the last eight in the grid goes here. Wow. Okay, seven is in one of those two, so seven's in one of these. Ah. Well, this is a four clue, the yellow looking up here. So seven can't be there because we now can't get eight in behind it. So seven is here. <clears throat> seven, oh no, one of those two. Well, hang on, it can't be here because that's a two clue. So seven is there, right. That's not seven. Um, seven must be here, I think, by Sudoku. That means this is a two one pair. So we can put the two in there and the one in there. <clears throat> That's a four in the middle, which fixes the seven. That can't be a six. So the six in the orange down is there. We've got one, two, and three to go in the column. Oh, I hope I haven't made a mistake because that sometimes happens in these puzzles and it really hurts. That's one, two, or three. So four goes there. That's two or three. Actually, that can't be one. <clears throat> I saw this one, two, three, triple a while ago. It gives me a six there, which is unsurprising. They're smaller than that six. Four, five possibilities there. Oh, come on, we're getting close now. Which, which clues are not done, if any? Or is the rest just Sudoku? Eight, seven, nine, one, two, four. Three is definitely in one of those. That's oh, now we've got an eight clue, a five clue here. Sorry, but eight and nine. Okay, it'll see those. It's not going to see seven. It's got to see three of these. Well, that's definitely one of our unresolved clues. So's this one actually, which starts with four or five, is not going to get the seven. So it can't start with five. It has to start with four. And that fixes that as a six. That fixes this whole box. Again, assuming no mistakes. It's got to see five and then six. The five's in one of those two. That's not a six anymore. So the six in column nine is there. Is that all the six is done suddenly? I've got one to put in the middle box. It's got to go in there. And that's going to fix three. That's nice. Uh, this is a one, two, five triple now. Let's just get rid of all the pencil marks. One, two, five triple and take out five from that one. 
So we've got to put a five in one of those two as well. Ah, and this is a four clue, so that has to be the five. Excellent, so we can put five in there. We're probably nearly finished on fives. No, not quite. Five in one of those. Now, this was always going to be difficult. This is a three clue, so five can't be here, or it would be a four clue. So five is in this cell, and therefore here, and that's all the fives done. If I've done nine, eight, seven, six, and five everywhere I have, right. Now, this is a three clue. That has to be bigger than these two, yes. So this is four, with a two, three pair below it. That becomes a one. We've got two and three here. Sometimes these low numbers can be very difficult to establish, but this is a naked single two, one, three, two. This is a last one in its row, four. That's a one naked single, three. I think this is going to work. I hope I have not made any mistakes because they can be a little hard to pick up. I don't think our software is going to be looking for skyscraper mistakes, especially in a coded puzzle. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, so pleased to get to the end of this. Wow. I mean, that is intricate stuff. Yes, okay, I think this is right. Is it worth going through the checks? I'll probably do it afterwards to make sure that all of the clues around the grid are right. But there we go. That is how to fill this skyscraper Sudoku, which is a fantastic piece of work by Doug. Um, and encapsulates the reasons I'm not a huge fan of me solving skyscrapers. I am always very impressed when they come together like that, but they are difficult. So thank you very much. I hope you had a go at it because uh, it is some intriguing logic going on there. And I uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.